name is Labro Dimitriou. I'm the chief architect for our retirement services, uh, Wells Fargo. And the topic we had here was how roadmap fits into the agile environment. The, the fundamental problem here that we tried to describe was the fact that you have a product owner that comes in and says, and this is actually for a software company that they, they are developing software, right, uh, commercial software. So the product owner comes in and says, I want to map my releases. And there are issues with it, right? Some issues is that, well, how do you know exactly when it's going to be done? It's all pulp fiction. You really don't know any of that, right? If you're doing Agile, it's here's my requirements. I'm going to prioritize every, every sprint, and I'm going to deliver certain functionality with a certain level of confidence. So, so the, the number one issue we discussed here is we need to make sure we educate our product owners on some laws of physics. And one thing we brought up was the, the cone of uncertainty, right? Cone of uncertainty says, uh, a very good paper actually the, out of ACM, the American Computing Machinery, that says that the farther away you are from delivery, the biggest, the, con the, the less confidence you have about your predictability, the power of, the predi of predicting when is that going to be done. Law of physics, you got to know that. One example was Jamie Dimon, Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan. When he went there, and our managing director, actually Ralph, was part of that, of, 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 was there when that happened, Jamie Dimon says, everything that is taking longer than six months, and it's over a million, it's cut, unless it's, uh, it's regulatory. What it did basically says, whatever you guys tell them that you can deliver after six months, or it's a million worth of project, you really have no confidence that it's going to happen. Right? Again, kind of a, the kind of uncertainty. The other piece that we said is, take a look at the standards report, right? Standards report um, uh, from, from the, the chaos report from standards says that nearly about 65% of features in a long project are never used or they are totally rarely used. Educate your, your, your product owner about that. Make him realize that that's what the, ca the case is. And as you start bringing those practices up front, we're getting there, right? Do we have my done? <laughs> <laughs> wrap it up, wrap it up. All right, so to wrap it up, transparency, visibility, and then the other element, key element is, and we'll talk about Bob later, uh, is take your non quote unquote non functional requirements that they, you want show through features, bring them in, map them into your, into your sprints, map them to the backlog, because they're going to impact your schedule. Thank you very much. <laughs>